Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we're going to make something absolutely delicious. This is the Optimum 9400 and in that, with these few ingredients, we're going to make the best chocolate truffles that you have ever eaten and it is so simple. All we need to do is take the lid off the Optimum 9400 and pop in some hazelnuts and cashews. Now these hazelnuts and cashews have already been soaked and I've mentioned this in other videos so I'll say it quickly today, but once they have been soaked, they have been activated, making the nutrients more bioavailable. So we're going to pop them straight in, pop the lid on the Optimum 9400. Now really important when you use a blender like this, you do make sure that the lid is securely in place. I need the tamper for this mixture. I'm going to turn it on low and just start to gently blend these nuts. So after we've done that on low, we've got them nice and mushed up. That's a professional term, by the way. We're going to pop in the cacao powder. If you're a chocolate lover, this is the real deal. All of the antioxidants still included in the beautiful cacao that you see here because it hasn't been heated or dutched like cocoa. So this is pure, real chocolate. It's full of magnesium, which helps to increase serotonin in the brain and make you happy. So really, ladies, if you like chocolate and you say it's because it makes you feel better, it's true. So there's our cacao and our nuts. We're going to pop the blender back together and just quickly try and mix it a little bit. From here, we're going to add all of the liquids that are included in the recipe, along with some beautiful vanilla bean pods. I just cut the vanilla bean pod and took the seeds out of the middle. I'm going to put a little crunch of salt, and this is an important um, ingredient even in sweet foods. This is something that people miss out. Salt, like Himalayan rock salt, or even better, Celtic sea salt, contains loads of the minerals that your body needs to be healthy. I'm going to pop in something that I wouldn't normally use, but I want to try it out. This is liquid stevia. I'm going to put six drops of hazelnut flavoured liquid stevia into this particular mix mixture so that these four, five, six, can't speak and count at the same time, so that these truffles taste a little bit more hazelnutty than usual. Now you can use any liquid sweetener that you like for this particular recipe, but I like organic coconut nectar. It's absolutely delicious and unlike agave, it is actually raw and it's not been heated at all and it contains amino acids, which means that even though it's a sweetener, it's not as refined as white sugar or any of the other sweeteners, and those amino acids help with the protein building blocks inside of the body. So I've got coconut nectar one cup, we've got oh, three quarters of a cup of coconut oil, and we also have three quarters of a cup of cacao butter. So we've got all those liquids put in on top there. So all I'm gonna do now is blend and mix. So once you've used the tamper enough and blended the mixture thoroughly, you turn your blender off and all you need to do is take the mixture out and pop it into a bowl. You need to leave it in the freezer for about 45 minutes though till it goes quite firm and then you can easily roll it into balls. So we're going to do that in just a second. But before I do, I have a great tip for you guys. This little thing is a dish strainer, usually for your knives and forks. But what I've done is I've taken the lid of one of those cheap plastic Chinese containers and made a circle to fit in the bottom. And so now, when I finish blending, I have somewhere to leave my tamper. We'll be back in just a sec. So, you saw us take all the mixture out of the Optimum 9400 jug, put it in a big bowl, you pop it in the freezer for about 45 minutes, as I said just a second ago, and then you roll them up into balls, whatever shape or size that you like. Now, I like them quite small because they are really, really rich. You can leave them plain, like I've done at the front here, or you can add a drop of peppermint essence to them, and then differentiate them by adding a little bit of coconut. Whatever you like to finish them off, but these are delicious. One tip though, make sure you make enough because everyone's going to eat them. If you like this recipe, don't forget to comment below or like the Fruity TV channel. And if you want to get an Optimum 9400 blender so you can make your own, have a look in the description below and find the Fruity website closest to you. Ciao for now.